Okay, this video will walk you through how to get Man of War 2 working in Windows 7 Professional. Now, I think I already showed you the steps on how to um, get that work on your computer, but basically all you have to do is take this URL, and the first thing we'll do is paste it here, and then um, you'll pick English, do a download, and then you'll pick the first one. That first one is Windows um, Virtual PC. Then you'll install it, you'll reboot, and then I'll go back to my email. Not yet. And then you'll need to download XP mode. So highlight that. You'll go into here. And again, that'll just get you to... Um, that Windows XP mode and you can go ahead and do the first one that's on there and um, and that's it then you'll reboot once you've rebooted then you'll go into the um, Windows Virtual PC and then XP mode and it takes about a minute for that to get going but you'll see here in my XP mode I've actually got another desktop behind the screen so, um, running 7 and XP at the same time. Put the disk in your drive, ignore any pop-up messages, and click Explore. And then we're basically navigating to that CD, in this case, Man of War 2. And a, a couple house cleaning items. You want to, when you go into that folder, you don't want this view. You actually want to click right here and click on details. And then you want to make sure that you can see the application files. So here is the type application. And if you don't see that column, right click and then turn it on. So here you'll see if I turn it off, now it's gone. And then I'll turn it back on. Oops, wrong one. sort it by type and then basically every application file on there you'll right click left click properties and then left click compatibility and you can already see what I've done here I've clicked on run this program in compatibility mode I've selected Windows 98 and then I've done 256 colors and then I went ahead and turned off um, advanced text for this so again I've already done this Normally when you go in, it will look like this. And again, you'll just click here. You'll go to the pull-down, pick 98, click 256, click that, apply, OK. We're doing that to every application file. So I'll just run through one more with you. So setup, compatibility, and again, here's what I've changed. Run the program, and I have Windows 98, 256, and turn off. And this is only a one-time deal that you're doing this. And it's very important that you go through all the folders just to double-check there's not another one or another application file. And usually there's, there's about a dozen or so. Again, here we've got one, two, three files. The campaign folder. Details, none. None there. None. 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 DAT, there's nothing. And I just, I've worked long enough with this program that I can do it without going into the details. I know they're all SFL files. So once you're all done with that, you then will go back to your details. And I believe it's the setup when you run. I don't know if it'll let me set it up again because I just installed it. Next, agree, 
next, next. And then, then I think it took me maybe two minutes to um, download that, but once it is downloaded or installed, you'll be able to go into that XP mode. So again, to get in there, you do this guy right there. When you're in there, when you go to run it, you go to all programs, and here you see I've already installed it. Oh, and I guess it's empty because I'm reinstalling. So we'll um, just give it a minute or two here. Now, I know I tried DOSBox when I was, I don't know if I was remotely connected or not. I got it working on one out of three computers, so it's really, really hit or miss. DOSBox really requires a Windows machine. I'm sorry, non-Windows program on a Windows machine. We're almost there. There we go. Now we're installing DirectX. Okay. And finish. Now, if I go in here, start, Man of War, huh, let's see where I put that, Not sure why it's not showing up in my all programs. It should. But what you can do is get around that and um, go into that auto run file. And again, in the auto run, you'll notice I've got set up. Everything's identical. Now, and again, normally you won't have to go into that way, but I think I uninstalled and reinstalled it so many times that I, I don't have anything in there anymore. But um, if you uninstall it, if you have troubles, then reinstall it, you will see it here. If you don't see it there, you know, just to repeat again, you'll just very simply go left click here. I'm sorry, right click start, open Windows Explorer, go to that Man of War 2, and then again, double click on the app auto run file, and there you go. I hope that helps. Bye.